don't give a. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my face because I would have given him my number. And all y'all just watch. What you want? see that? What you want? You see that? What you want? Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I told all these men, like, "Yo, why is this man got a brick on my face?" And he's he's holding a brick, and all these niggas watching, and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face, and then they all just watch, and they let that nigga. People know him because security told me that, you know, he used to work somewhere at some restaurant. So uh, we will find him. And when I do, I need y'all to center him because he also jumped in a car with a bunch of black women. You know what I mean? He was trying to jump in a car with a dude, but we wouldn't let the car leave. So he jumped out of that car and ran into another car. And I couldn't get the license plate number. Y'all know who he is. You produce receipts, but the receipts look as though you're just adding to a lie. Y'all, Rhoda, Rhoda, however you pronounce her name, yesterday she submitted some images to her GoFundMe to kind of help back her claim in regards to what she said happened to her with that assailant hitting her across the head with a brick. But when you look at the receipts, the reports, it tells a different story than the one that she initially gave us in regards to how that incident unfolded on that night. We're about to check that out. Shout out to our girl, Celebrity, the queen of accountability. Make sure y'all go check out her page. She literally just posted this not too long ago. And you see the date down here at the bottom of when this was printed. But the incident occurred on September the 3rd, which is about 12 days ago. But this was printed just yesterday. Let's check out down here in regards to what Celebrity said Rada, and I said her name incorrect in the beginning, posted to her GoFundMe. She said, Rada slipped up, y'all. On her public GoFundMe, she updated the post with pictures. She released her paperwork on her own free will. She lied again. She told the doctors two different stories. She said she was leaving the club and got hit with a brick. She was leaving the club, got hit with a brick by an unknown male, not a black male, <laughs> as she claimed on her video. Then he tried to pull her into his car. How? How? When you said on the video it was outside in front of so many black men there are now six versions of the story say what you want about me but this individual lied how you leave out the unknown man tried to kidnap you give me my flowers and we do celebrity we do give you your flowers <laughs> she says i've been on her ass i bet the blogs won't say anything now the report said patient states I don't want to hear this is she lied she is fumbling and did she tag somebody and says what do you have to say now since you said we lied I'll wait let's check out these receipts y'all so the queen of accountability got some arrows pointed to some stuff right here it said that the patient appears to be intoxicated and then this shows it down here and these are bold letters intoxicated it does have her name up here at the top celebrity got pointed right here with this little statement says it says 33 year old female was leaving the club hit in the head with a brick yet there's no video of her being hit in the head with a brick so you said nobody got hit with a brick never ever happened i was there all day all time never <laughs> Sure, the security was outside all the time. Nothing like that. The security was outside? Every, yes, all the time. Next page, we got something highlighted down here, and celebrity got bingo. Now it says she was hit in the head with a brick by an unknown male, not a black man. And the unknown male tried to pull her into a car. This is the fifth version of the story. Rada never mentioned the person trying to pull her into a car. And it says it right here. Unknown man hit her with a brick 
in the head and tried to pull her into a car. The nerve of somebody posting receipts of something with a different story being told or added information that was never brought up in any of her prior content about this situation. Now, if this story is indeed fake, this just goes to show you the links that some people will go to to fabricate a story so that they can collect the check. This woman actually went to the hospital with what some in the medical field would say looked like the result of bad cheek filler combined with alcohol and this is the effects that it created. But she went to the hospital and told a different story as to how she got this big old knot on the side of her head. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. Do y'all think there could be any truth to this story whatsoever? Do y'all think it's completely fabricated? Leave a comment down below and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. See ya.